Hello, my name is Mazzy Overlord, and in this video we are going to take a look at redstone powered dice. I recently built a board game in Scar World, and I needed some dice. I found an amazing tutorial by Myzuma Games. Check out the link in the description below. But after following this tutorial, my dice did not work properly. The numbers 1, 3, 4, and 6 would show correctly, but when the numbers 2 and 5 should have shown, I got nothing. After looking through all the comments on his video, I found that I was not alone in this issue, and the cause was a change to how redstone signals pass through blocks which was introduced in Minecraft 1.16. In this video, I'm going to show you the modification I made to my dice to get them to work in later versions of Minecraft. Here we have a build of a single dice unit that I created following the tutorial in my Zuma Games' video. As you can see, there is no number shown. If we break this block and have a look in the dispenser with the shulker boxes, we can see that we have shulker boxes for numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6, but none for number 5, which means that this is the number that we should see on the display. Let's go take a look at the redstone and see what's causing the issue for numbers 2 and 5. The issue in the design is this line of redstone here. Before 1.16 this would have been fine, but in 1.16 and above the redstone signal from this line passes through these four blocks and interferes with the line of repeaters on the other side. The solution to this problem is we need to move this redstone line across whilst maintaining the signal strength it provides to the decoder. To do this, you're going to need to follow these steps. Remove the furnace and comparator. Remove these four blocks here and these four blocks here. Add additional blocks for the extended redstone line that will come around here. Place the furnace here and add the two wooden swords to give the output signal strength of 10. Add the comparator next to the furnace and switch it to subtract mode. Add redstone dust to connect the comparator output to the decoder. Replace the redstone dust on this block with a comparator. This is because our new redstone line is longer than before and we need to ensure no loss of signal strength. Add four redstone dust here. Finally, add two comparators to connect the input signal from the shulker box to the comparator by the furnace without any loss of signal strength. And with that, your modifications are done, and your die should now work. Comparators are really useful for extending a redstone line without any loss of signal strength, as whatever signal strength they detect on input is the signal strength that they output. If we now go around to the front of our dice, we should see that the number 5 is correctly displayed. Hello from Scar World. I thought it would be nice to show where I've used these dice in my build of the Settlers of Catan, a very popular strategy board game. Come take a look. Here we are on Catan Island, which is made up of 19 hexagonal tiles. Let's head up to the player platform, where we can take a better look at the board and other elements of the game. Here we have the two dice that players roll on their turn. Player houses for up to four players. The bank for trading. Each player house has map art with building instructions, places to store their resources and building materials, 
and a board where they can display their development cards. The dice are linked so that both are rolled from a single button press, as I will demonstrate now. I hope you found this video helpful and that this solves your redstone dice problems. A huge shout out to Myzuma Games for their amazing dice design and tutorial video. Go check it out and give them a like. If you use Lightmatica, I've also provided some links to schematics in the description below. Thank you and goodbye!